Hey, so I just wanted to show you what we've done so far with Fluid NC. All the functionality is done. We're simply working on the screen set. So just go over the configuration a little bit. Set your collet nut size here. Got the option for ER11, 16, and 20 at the moment. Um, I've got this uh, extra large unit on here with seven pockets. Uh, we're running left to right, so the direction from the first pocket would be positive. We're on the x-axis. I'm using the touch probe for the tool setter. Unfortunately, the tool setter is normally closed, and my 3D touch probe is normally open. So I've got a new tool setter on order, and hopefully that'll be here Thursday. And then I'll be able to demonstrate operating everything. So you set your position, X and Y positions of the first pocket manually. And then I've got my manual tool change position above my touch probe. I'll have more information on the Z configurations here coming up soon. I just wanted to kind of display it. All the configurations are here. You click the download text file. It will spit out a text file <laughs> and you can copy and paste that right into the config.yaml file so download that open it up and you can see that it populates all these figures make sure you get that R and make sure you don't have any spaces at the end of these lines control C so I come into my config.yaml file I'm going to select all of this it's probably not going to do anything because I already had it set up. Copy and paste it there. And we're back. Now, let me turn off my video capture here. And I can show you a little better. So I've actually got this screen cut off. And I don't want to change it right now. But you kind of get the idea. You can turn the magazine options off. And we will populate the screen with the probe panel and the files panel. So then we go to... A fluid NC, this one's obviously not done. And upload our config YAML. It will close the screen out and bring you back. Um, you do have to restart fluid NC for the changes to take effect, but a little less button pushing that way. So we'll turn this off. Turn this off. Bring the video capture back online and i will show you that currently there's no tool to be honest i can't remember if i just restarted it or not i do it so much so we're going to say m61 t0 and now everybody knows that two zero is in the pocket so m6 t3 now let's move it here m6 T4. This is my long quarter inch cutter. Uh, oh, I guess I didn't type that right, did I? M6 T4. simple as that now if you want to change tools to a tool that's not in the magazine say uh, you have a face mill and you want to drop this tool simply type in m6 t0 and it drops off the current tool drop this off and I will show you the 3d touch probe I need to actually I need to remake that one it came off a little early I don't know if you notice it or not but it's I machined it but it's uh, it's just been roughed out it's not very smooth at all and this moves pretty easy I'm gonna probably put a spring-loaded ball bearing or something there so when it comes in it it kind of holds it from if 
you know, if the table's shaking or whatever and it bounces out of there, I don't want that to happen. So we'll uh, demonstrate that. Now, there's not the functionality with this currently in Fluid NC to, you know, it doesn't work with uh, an M6 command or anything. Let's get the control panel back up here. I do have, but I do have macros to pick up, probe get, and probe return. So let's go ahead and pick up the probe. It's just a friction fit. They don't weigh much. It doesn't take much to to hold it in there. If you can see, it takes a little takes a little bit to get it out, and there's really no pressure or anything. Now I've got mine kind of taped on here right now, and then uh, with a little magnet, and I just clip it onto my spindle holder. Actually, let me see this in there now the nice thing about this is that it will always register at the same height in Z so as opposed to screwing it on with the collet nut where it can vary where it ends up in the collet nut this will always be repeatable I can't show you the probe right now because uh, it doesn't actually register because this is normally open my tool setter is normally closed so you get the idea I just wanted to show you the pickup and drop off of it works great my friend Guillaume is working on a the mechanics to be able to actually pick it up and drop it off in one of the pockets straight up out of Z which will be very cool it's going to be a little more intensive a build but you won't have it have to come out in Y so people with small tables and where you have that restriction that would be a nice feature so then do your probing or whatever come back you could hit probe return drops it off pretty handy thank you Guillaume